Hello people, welcome back. I'm Anis Wagler and this is my YouTube channel. From today onward, we are going to start a series on instrumentation. Instrumentation is the basic measurement system and we are going to learn a, a lot about this topic. Since this is the first video, I am going to take you to the introduction of the instrumentation system. And we will learn the basic terminologies and basic stuff about the instrumentation system. So if you are excited, then let's begin. At first, what is instrumentation system? Instrumentation system is nothing but just a measurement system. That means it is a way of determining the value of a variable or a quantity that is being measured. It is the means of carrying out the measurement. It gives a numerical value of the measurement. The example of an instrumentation system will be CT scanning machine, MRI machine, PDI controller equipment, etc. The measurement system is the system which has an input as a true value and after being measured some error is added to that value and the output comes and that output will be the measured value. So this is the simple block diagram of an instrumentation system where we have a true value as an input and measured value as an output. Those error may be caused due to the <coughs> error in reading of the scale or there might be many reasons for the errors. So let's continue. The instrumentation system can be classified on the basis of the signal and on the basis of response. But in this class, we will learn only about the classification of instrumentation system on the basis of signal. So it can be classified into two groups that is analog instrumentation system and digital instrumentation system, which we will read <coughs> after a few slides. So what is analog instrumentation system? It is the system which deals with or which measures in continuous times and continuous amplitude format. So it basically has three functional units. They are input unit, signal processing unit and output unit. And we will learn about functional unit of instrumentation system in our next slide. So let's continue. So here we have the component of instrumentation system or it's say the functional unit of the instrumentation system. So it contains primary sensing element or input system of the functional unit. It have variable conversion element and variable manipulation element, which in combined is also called signal conditioning and processing. It have variable transmission element and data presentation element. So let's go through them one by one. Primary sensing element. Primary sensing element contains sensors or transducers. Transducers converts the variables being measured into a suitable energy. For example, if we take a thermocouple, then the input variable will be the temperature and the output we are getting from the transducer which is thermocouple will be a small change in EMF. Next is variable conversion element. It takes the input from the primary sensing element. It can be any electrical signals such as voltage, current, frequency and etc. When it is not possible to directly process the incoming signal the way it is then it has to be converted into more suitable form and for that variable conversion element is used the main example will be conversion of analog to digital signal or the frequency to voltage conversion next we have variable manipulation element in variable manipulation element it manipulates the given signal preserving the original nature of the signal the reason for manipulation might be again it might not be suitable for using at the current state if we go back and look at our thermocouple example then after the thermocouple provide us small emf 
it might get hard to work with the small emf so in that case we might have to amplify the input so that it will be big enough for us to analyze and process it there can be two type of manipulation element they are linear which con which consists of amplification automation addition subtraction differentiation integration etc and nonlinear which consists of modulation demodulation detection sampling filtering chopping clamping etc next we have data transmission element and as the name suggests it transmits data from one unit to another unit it can be done through wired or wireless transmission medium signal conditioning and data transmission are combinedly called intermediate stage and at the end we have data presentation element which is the output unit of the functional system so it basically takes the processed output and display it to the system or the user it can be used for monitoring controlling and analysis purpose data is presented in form of video format or in a chart using xy plot it may transmit the data to the control circuit for comparison between actual value and the required value so at the end we have digital instrumentation system again in previous topic we read about the functional unit of aggregate instrumentation system which consists of input signal processing and output which was the functional unit of analog system but in case of digital instrumentation system there cons contains few extra elements which is why we are covering digital instrumentation system as a separate topic it contains all the functional element of the analog system and since it is going to handle all the measurement in digital format it requires some extra devices so here in the block diagram of instrument digital instrumentation system you can see we have transducer as <coughs> it it has in the previous slide we have sing signal conditioner same as before and the different thing is we have scanner or multiplexer signal converter analog to digital signal converter auxiliary equipment and digital recorder here the digital recorder is again same as the output of analog signal <coughs> analog instrumentation system or as data presenter of our component diagram so let's go through here again transducer and signal conditioning unit are same as above so you can go back and see for signal scanner or multiplexer when a lot of analog signal are coming and when this receives a lot of analog signal it sequentially put them and provide provide those signals sequentially to the measuring instrument that means when a lot of them are coming and then it one by one passes the signal to the measuring instrument again we have signal converter it converts analog signal to the form which is acceptable by analog to digital converter next we have analog to digital converter which as the name su suggests converts the given analog signal to proportional digital signal we have auxiliary equipment which is the core of the digital signal digital instrumentation system is it process all the it does all the processing work of the digital signal and at the end we have digital recorder which display the data after process processing is done uh, in most re recording schema oscilloscope or computer are the recording data data recorder whereas for non recording schema digital display or any numeric display are recorder digital recorder so this is all about the introduction to the instrumentation system in next part we will learn about theory of measurement 
and we will learn a lot of theories and do numericals so hope you are interested if you enjoyed the content then please don't forget to like and subscribe because it motivates me doing the work and if you have any questions or queries then please comment down below so thank you